I'm going to put my jewelry on too. So I have it right in front of me. Yes, I'm working at the club tonight. Okay, I'm putting on my jewelry. I wear this jewelry every night. This is my Cartier Panther. This is steel and it's the small size. Um, I wear this every night. I don't really wear this outside of work, but I don't know. I like the look. It makes me look expensive. What's your routine when you get home from the club? I want to start going to work, uh, to the gym when I get home from the club or like just going straight from work to the gym. I think I'm going to start doing that even though that's crazy. And then this was my Swaborski, uh, necklace. Uh, but normally I get home from work. I kind of want to film that routine, honestly, before I switch it up. But normally I get home from work. I immediately take off my makeup because if you're a girl, you know, like sometimes you just want to get your makeup off immediately. Um, I take off my lashes. I hop in the shower. Um, I don't wash my hair after work. I just put it up and then I do like a body shower. And I use antibacterial soap in the shower like antibacterial body wash. Obviously the club is like not the cleanest environment. Like we're touching the stage, we're touching the pole, we're sitting on like the bar stools, we're sitting on the section couches that are like not the cleanest, you know what I mean? So um, I just like to use the antibacterial wash. So yeah. Um, and then I get out of the shower. I typically have like a snack. So either like eggs, turkey bacon, like something high protein, kind of like a breakfast. And then I'll basically just scroll TikTok until I pass out. <laughs> to be fully honest, that's kind of the routine. Okay, let's go make my dinner and then we will get the makeup going. If you're just interested in the makeup, it'll be like another five minutes. I also, for those of you that are gonna ask, I do have a door lock on my door. Obviously my door is locked, always, but just extra security. Okay, I got this salmon from Trader Joe's. I had the first half last night. My watch is a Panther, a Cartier Panther. Do you invest yourself or do you have someone do it for you? So I partially invest myself. My dad is a financial advisor, so I basically take um, all of his advice verbatim. What other jewelry do you wear to work? Um, I just wear my earrings. These are, I think combined, it's like 0.6 carats of diamonds, so each ear is like 0.3 carats. I got these from David Yerman. And then my watch and then my necklace, and that's it. I feel like that's more than enough. Anything else I feel like looks tacky on me, like I just can't pull it off. How's 75 hard going? Um, so I guess I failed at 75 hard. Um, like if you're following 75 hard rule by rule, I failed. But I still have not had much alcohol since I started 75 hard. I think I've had like six drinks total. So again, I guess I technically failed. And then I've only been working out once a day or once a day plus a walk and work. So if you count work as a workout, then like, I guess I didn't fail, but rule by rule, like very strict 75 hard, I failed. But I've definitely still like drastically cut down on the drinking like in three weeks or four weeks. I think I've had like six or eight drinks which keep in mind, I'm a stripper, so we're drinking all night, every night. So for like six or eight drinks in that amount of time is very good. Um, I've also been working out at least once a day, but obviously I walk around a lot at work. I dance at work, so some people consider that a workout. Some people don't, but yeah. And then I've been reading, which has been going well. I haven't taken a progress picture every single day. Um, but yeah, like once a week, I feel like is enough. You'd be great for Fresh and Fit podcast. I actually was on Fresh and Fit. I want to find the Fresh and Fit episode that I was on for you guys. I was on almost a year ago, which is crazy to think about that it's already been a year. But, um, I was on Fresh and Fit February of 2023. So if you go back on their page and go back to February, 
I was on one of the episodes. Um, but yeah, I kind of want to go back on. I don't know if Myron would have me back on. Um, him and I actually are like friends now because on the podcast, like, I feel like he tried to shit on me because I was like a stripper. But then he realized that like I have my college degrees and he went to Northeastern. I went to Boston University. So our undergrads are like half a mile apart. So I feel like he actually took me pretty seriously after he found that out. So yeah, I don't know. But we became friends and he's actually super nice like in person. I definitely don't agree with everything that he says on his show. But you can be friends with someone and still disagree, you know? Okay, now we're gonna start my makeup. I just had to put my salmon in the oven. Okay. Why is this crooked? That is annoying. Oh, here it is. Okay, now we're straight. Cool. Do you work every day? I work five days a week. Oh my God, I look crazy right now. I look so red. Would you suggest this job to a 24 year old? Yeah, I'm 24, so. I think I always talk about this on TikTok. Like a lot of people will shit on me for posting about stripping and they're like, you're trying to like lure young girls into doing it. That is not my intention at all. I say several times that like, I always believe in getting an education first or getting some sort of trade license first and then starting stripping or doing them simultaneously because if I was like 18, 19, 20, I would not have been able to set boundaries as well as I can now at 24 with customers. So, yeah. Your waist trainer. Yeah, I'm going to put the waist trainer on after I eat, guys. Okay. I think I'm going to start with my... Actually, no. I'm going to do my primer first. Let me put on some makeup as well. I mean, some music as well. Let's see. Should we do wrap? Why do you work so much? Um, I don't know. I like working a lot. I like making money. 